far as Bar Stars is concerned, like what, what what you got going on next, man? What's your plan? Like what how how far do you see the sport going or Maybe not even Barca, like just the, the sport in general. I feel like the sport has grown a lot over the last few years. You know, yeah, Instagram has helped a lot. And yeah, actually, yeah. Instagram, Instagram has helped a lot, right? Yeah, it's helped like uh, individuals showcase themselves. So, yeah. like, before I think what really helped Barca is, or just the movement in general, is I was able to go from here to here to get the videos. But then you're still depending on like these five to six YouTube channels right. to really just get around. So uh, Instagram allows you like with your phone, you know, wherever yeah, you're at yeah, yeah. to put this video up. You know, you might get, not get the exposure, but. No, people, I mean, people get relatively. It's a lot better than what it was it's before, not, you know? yeah. like If you didn't have a friend with that YouTube channel, yeah. it was like... Sh- now people don't even have YouTube, like, uh... Yeah. Tank don't have a YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he has, what, yeah. 300,000 followers? Something like that on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Jordan doesn't have a YouTube, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But he's famous on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I mean, it, like, there's so many different ways to get out there and just expose. And it made me, it's made me try new shit, you know what I'm saying? Seeing other people on Instagram that I follow, like, uh, uh, bar stars or the other people. And it's just, it's inspiring to me. Oh, that's a new move I need to try. Yeah. We always try to grab something like and try to showcase it. Like, yo, check this out. Yeah. Check this out. No matter what team or whatever, it's just like, like it's a movement. Everyone's together. For me. Yeah, yeah, that's like, how I feel. Like, look at this, and now let's all try to, you know, yeah. push this. Well, at least, if you don't want to try this, at least give you an idea, like, yo, we can go further. It right? raises the bar, man. Because I remember when I was asking you how to do it. You was, you was showing me and young how to do the switch play. Yeah, yeah. Now I see everybody doing it. Not 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 and not because of me. I'll just say around that time it seemed like a lot of people were trying to learn it. And now motherfuckers got it. It's like a move. Oh, hopefully just keeps spreading the message. Like it's hard to say what I'm gonna do next or we've been getting some crazy interviews with some big magazines, so yeah? those should be out, you know, by the end of the year. Yeah, let me know, man. Let me yeah, know until yeah. they're seeing more reposting and stuff. And then uh besides that, yeah, still playing out videos and, and traveling. Yeah, yo, you be everywhere, son. Yeah, I try you to like be everywhere. Uh, you did a, I was trying to get up since last summer, and you was on a world tour. Man. Yeah, <laughs> I always try to like, I try to stay busy, you know. Like I go through these, like I was telling you off camera, it's like I go through these things, you know, like where I'm just like a work addict, and then there's times I'm just like, oh, I need to, I need to relax. I mean, that's how it is. Seasons, everything seasons. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of level, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, look how many people you brought up. How old are you, man? I'm 26. You should be so fucking young, man. How old are you? I'm 32, bro. Old school. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, because like, then you hear like guys like, uh, there's a guy named Brian here, for example. 17 years old, little bro. Yeah. This guy has a video, videography company, photo shoot, his own clothing line. Wow. And it's just like, yeah. I, think I could be doing more. I yeah, could it could be doing more. It's always like that, man. You know what happened to you and me, man? I just spent too much in my twenties like partying, drinking, smoking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, <laughs> like I, I just I spent so the whole time partying and lifting weights. <laughs> weights yeah. off, though. No, yeah, it was um, yeah, yeah. At least at least I did that. Thank God. Yeah. Otherwise I just uh, fat old dude. And that's another thing, people gotta know, like, yo, you know, you gotta start now to really reap the benefits, you know, two, three years. Right, right. It's not, it's not overnight, yeah. man. It's like, you overnight. get something overnight, but you're not, like, you know, those, you're not gonna look like Arnold. Arnold didn't look nah, like that nah, in a nah. year. It all takes, it take, it's like, you're only gonna get a little bit better at anything, whatever it is. Fitness, you know, anything, business, whatever. Only a little bit better each day. Yeah. And you gotta keep and those, adding those days up and those little bits. There's over a quote I heard of. Don't give up a goal because of the time it takes to get the goal, because the time is gonna pass anyway. Yeah, and that always sticks with me. That always sticks with me. You know, like, no matter how long it takes, I can start today and just tip, chip at it. Time is gonna chip go. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's like um, it's like when somebody's trying to, when they trying to split a uh, uh, stone in half. Yeah. It's like it's a bunch of cracks. It look like these doing nothing. They, after a fucking long ass time, thousands of fucking hits, maybe one of them splits the shit. But it took all those before. You know, it wasn't yeah. that one exactly. that hit. It was like it took it's all that. Yeah, Every like, day you move a little closer. I try to tell everyone that, even at the blue pass, like yeah. physically and even mentally and just just always try to progress every day, you know? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you go to sleep that night, you're the same as that morning that you fucked up. Right, right, right. That's why, yeah, we, uh, every day, like when people ask me for like advice, I don't have no problem telling them because I feel like most people ain't going to be competition anyway because they're not going to do it, what I say. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah, not going yeah. to put have, in that kind of work. You yeah, have the not. same tools, your workout program, your diet, what you do in the morning, what you do in the middle of the day, what you do at night, but yeah. the willpower makes a difference. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. can have the steps in front of you, but you got to have the willpower to follow those steps. Yeah. And a lot of people don't. A lot of people have a hard time. Yeah. Yo, man, on, on the low, on the low, people have been saying that y'all drew me for the Bar Stars thing. Oh, no. People have been saying that's me, son. Look. Listen. <laughs> I'm not gonna me? lie, I see the resemblance. <laughs> I see the resemblance, I'm not gonna lie. It's all good, man. I loan, I license my image. You, We can set up some kind of payment. <laughs> Yo. 
<laughs> I never thought about that, but maybe we gotta get a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have, yeah, I don't, y'all don't, I don't have to sue y'all or and one or <laughs> Mr. And Queen. One got it too? That's me, man. That's the, I'm the and one I guy. I haven't seen that one. The oh! <laughs> you know what? I seen the Mr. Clean the other no, day. No. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. Wait, I thought it. Was... No, he's on it, bro. Because Mr. Clean got like a deep tan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, th I thought Mr. Clean was black. Man. I thought about uh. I tried to write Mr. Clean Black History Month. I yeah. tried to write about Mr. Clean. It was like, nah, man, shit. <laughs> I got in trouble when I was a kid. Nah. <laughs> we had to make commercials. Like, we called them company. I called the company. I was trying to put the teacher wrong, and uh, Mr. Clean is a fucking. They, it's, a, it's a picture of some pirate. They found back wow. in the house. Pirate. Right? I never knew that. You learn some everything. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. Mr. Clean was a pirate. Yeah, man. So anyway, man. Oh, yo. What about today, though? Today, hey man, how you feel about the, the event today? Man? It was dope, man. It was a nice turnout. Even though we had a, there was a big seafood festival the day before, so they kind of had their remnants here. It was a, a good turnout, man. The high level freestyle, good pull ups, and most importantly, the good character and attitude from everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No one like lost an event and said, fuck this, it's rigged, or you yeah. know, it's bullshit. You know, even if you didn't agree with whatever results you might have been, you had fun, you're happy, you're smiling. That's what it's about, it's about fun, competing. Yeah. It's like the trophy, that's just, I mean, that's something. It's awesome to get a trophy, but it's more about just. Like people ask me like why I didn't compete and I'm just like yo I don't even want to I don't want to be involved around all these people inspiring me. You know just the feeling gives yeah, you. Yeah, man. Like, just like so uh, like me, I haven't done a pull up today and I just feel, <laughs> I feel great. Like I'm ready yeah, to go yeah. train. I'm ready to go and laugh. I'm able to catch up with dudes I haven't seen in a while. It's inspiring, man. It's inspiring. Yeah. Just like and it's like I saw we had such a big crowd, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a big, just a big crowd like people who knows like how many kids will start working out. You see, I know sure you get this all the time. Kids say they start working out because of the bar stars. Yeah. Or like, yeah, I get that shit too. And that's like the best feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's dope, man. Yeah, you know yeah. that you had an impact on the someone's impact. life. Yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, like I'm just this kid from Washington Heights. Like, I, I used to wear baggy jeans under my butt and a big ass t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's crazy that these people like are looking up to you. Yeah, man. exactly. You know saying looking up to you. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like it, it helped me, man. It helped me a lot. You know? Yeah, yeah. Knowing so, I, could, I could affect other people's lives you know? in a positive way. You know? Yeah, it's it all gave me a purpose. You know, like I used to wake up and just not know, you know. Especially like people come from where we come from. Like I come from Chicago, the South Side. So like fitness, like just gave me something, another way. I mean, a way to. Know, stay positive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's exactly a lot of negative. It's, it's easier to be negative when you're in that environment. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many influences. You know what I'm saying? So many influences. So many. But like, completely understandable, man. Yeah. I had the same thing. Like, you know, just growing up, like, you know, it's not cool to be in an after school program. Yeah. It's not cool to, you know, it's cool to hang outside, be in exactly. the streets. And through fitness, and, you know, it gave me something to do. It gave me something to do with those ideal hours. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm here trying to learn how to do this muscle up. Exactly, man. That's, what, that's, a, that's one great thing about calisthenics with the bar stars in particular man it's like it just shows the people that especially the kids you know kids from where we come from man like they give them something to do you know what yeah, I'm saying something man. to do yeah. so, like it, sometimes some of these kids who talk, I talk to man who are like gang banging or other shit it's like they just need they don't have no goals outside of you know what I'm saying the block you know what I'm saying so like to give somebody a goal a muscle up or a 360 muscle up it's something they'll spend their time with that's not Sure, you know. Also, like longing for like a someone so supports us. That's, yeah. why, that's why gangs are popular. You yeah, know, like, exactly. They don't, they don't have a, a, a broken family at home. You go and you see these guys, and they treat you like family. So now we have the same thing, but for a positive thing. You know? Right, we, we right. Always, I have so many guys that sometimes we just go to a park just to hang out. Dudes are yeah, just like, yeah, beat yeah. up. We can't even work out anymore. But you stay there and you talk. Cause you have that support system, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone knows you got hurt, they call you, they're concerned. Right. People that you want to go hang out with, they're there. And it's not dudes it's like yo, you know, let's go smoke weed, let's go drink, yeah, yeah. let's go do this, do that. It's, it's something. It's something positive. Like, like even like when I. That's what it's like when I when I met the, the Team Incredibles and all them. I was like happy to help support them, right? Because it was like some kids, you know, basically from the projects. You know, what I'm saying most of them. Doing something positive, we're trying yeah, to do some positive, dope, man. and not doing no. So I was like, oh man, I could definitely get behind this. You know what I'm saying? That's and not because there's so much shit they could be doing. You know? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like it's good that you're expanding it here. Start expanding it there. Word, 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 man. Yo, so anyway, man, I just always a pleasure. Man. Likewise, bro. Awesome. Thanks for T Rex Extreme for sponsoring the Boss Us Pro Jam. Word. <laughs>